Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 204 for another episode of Final Fantasy 7, and I love the music in this town. It's just so awesome. Anyway, in the last episode we got a new party member! In this episode, I'm quickly going to go and give him uh, Yuffie's Materia. Okay, now let us go to Mount Nebel. We've been there before, but this time we're going to be exploring in a bit more depth. Now, Mount Nebel can be really annoying for the sole reason that it is really annoying. Yeah, that doesn't really explain much, does it? You can get so lost in it, there are a lot of dead ends that, like, lead you and lead you and lead you and then go absolutely nowhere, and it's annoying. It's good music, though. I mean, it's always good music. But yeah, it's a twisty, turny path, twisting, turning through the never, as Metallica would say. Um, I had to say that because otherwise I would have started singing it. Anyway, treasure chest up here. A lot of the stuff, it like, goes behind the mountains and things, and you just have to, you know, bear with it. Bear. Some enemies, obviously. Always, always find enemies. Steal from the Qvidoom. Some, something or another. Was its name Sonic Speed? Yeah, that's its name, wow. Qvidoons. Qvidoons. Dune. It's like Dumbledore. Or Dusseldorf. <laughs> Kewaldoon! <laughs> it's a great name, actually. Kewaldoon! I hope AJ gets to his uh, limit soon. It's kind of funny, actually, naming AJ after two girls, but that I, it's, I don't find a problem with that because they're different. Nice people! Good videos. Check their channel out. Trying to find stuff to say while I'm mesmerized by the Cubaldoons! I probably forgot to sense them, but it's okay because they're Cubaldoons! It's almost like saying Kipew! But not. But yeah. You go around, 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 and up. And you get a rune blade for cloud. Okay, so it gets rid of the doubles that we have, but it oh it gets rid of the double slots, but it's a little better. So let's see what we have. Lightning elemental is no longer in effect, so we'll play replace elemental with Ah, uh, we'll replace it with Earth. No. I mean all. I was gonna say, trying to say all. Where did you guys come from? I guess we'll give it fire. You already have fire now. Okay, that was our. I don't know why our fire was up there actually, because that was the 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 one that I already got leveled up and stuff. Why am I not moving? There we go. And now we go down. And there's an annoying enemy encounter ratio. In this area, I usually uh, grind for levels here, but not on purpose, just because I get lost and. It's bad. Getting lost is bad. Yay, more Kewl dudes! Let's send some this time, eh? Because they're adorable. I'll use Aqua. Soon, actually, we are going to be getting an enemy skill uh, to replace uh, Matra Magic. Weak against fire, good to know. I'll use a water attack on them. Just to spite them. Ah. And we're going to be getting like a powered up version of Mantra Magic, which I shall use as... Yay, all leveled up. I shall use as such. Most of this episode is probably just going to be going through the mountain here. Because, like I said, annoying. There is a treasure chest up there, so... Uh, so it's, it's worth it to, you know, go up there gonna be something for for Frozen, I think. So AJ almost reaches limit break, so that's pretty cool. He has four limit breaks. For each limit, each level only has one limit. Um, and yes, yeah, so you like go up there and kind of like zigzag around over here, and then kind of go up. Plus Barrette. I think that's for, for Frozen. Let's check all the way down here. I don't really use my, like, sources. Speed source, plus source, etc. Etc. Yeah, it's for Frozen. 
Now let's just use some of the magic source. We'll use it on AJ. Power source, cloud and AJ. Uh, luck source, yeah. Mind source, speed source, you're kind of slow. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can do fine without them. They don't really, really increase things that much. Okay, continuing on. And yeah, again, sloping down and up and all around and over and under and through. And we're finally up to this bridge, which was fixed after the last time we were here, which the bridge kind of exploded all over the place. And uh, made a nice little cutscene though. Just look at the bridge scenery, but I'm gonna cut the rest of the battle. Okay, in that last battle, AJ got up to his limit, so when we get up to the next uh, important battle to show, I'll uh, use it. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so you have these four shoots here, right? So, we're playing shoots and ladders, pretty much. It's really annoying. They all go to random places. Uh, the first one here will lead you pretty much nowhere. Um, the second one we can use... Let's try out this one. I think this one. Mm, yes. Okay, Power Soul. That's, uh, that's for Tifa. And that is a boss that we shall be fighting later. Well, not later. Soon, but more... more... more later than soon. There we go. Okay, this boss. Boss, enemy, this enemy, dragon. You want to steal from it. The dragon is really annoying, is really powerful. Hey, we learned a little healing from him. Uh, but he has something really, really cool. Let's use sense first. He, you can steal from him a golden omelet. And uh, this, yeah, he's really tough. But you can steal from him and then run away. But this first one, I'll fight just, you know, because I'm a, you know, stupid. But I'll also use Galleon Beast, which is probably a bad idea because actually yeah, the dragon is absorbs fire and Galleon Beast. All of uh, Vincent's things except for- oh, he died anyway. Oh wait, all of uh, AJ's Phoenix Den. There we go. All of AJ's limits are uh, elemental based except for the very final one, which is non-elemental obviously. Uh, so he... The first one, I'm sorry, I, I'm trying to think of what to say. The first uh, li limit that he has is fire and ice elemental. Um, yeah, depending on what attack it uses. Uh, you can't control Vincent after he uses a limit, so you just have to leave it up to the cards for the rest of the battle, pretty much. Um, but the important thing is that the dragon, I'm pretty sure, absorbs fire attack, so using Galleon Beast here is a bad idea. Actually, I should use White Wing here. Trying to steal the Golden Omelette from him so I can run away. The dragon also gives you a nice amount of experience and money, so... Yeah. So, it, it might be worth it to attack him every once in a while every once in a while. You know, uh, if you have some free time on your hands. Uh, he's up to his, he's got his limit again. Because I have a golden omelet. Come on, there we go. And Air says another limit break twice in the battle. That's pretty awesome. And yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Um, yeah, so the timer for this episode is going on kind of weird, but that's just because I've been in a whole bunch of battles that are being cut out, so I'm going to try to go a little bit further. I might cut out parts of that dragon battle that weren't really important. Let's check out the golden omelet, though. That's nice. Uh, gives you another link slot, and 12 more defense. Really nice. So who has the least amount of defense? Everybody has the same amount of defense. Uh, I guess I'll give it to you then. And what do we have? Any revive if we death blow? Eh, that's good. 
Did I heal? Yes. Okay. Can't remember what I did. Can't get to that. You have to take one of the er, one of the pipes. I think it's an all material. So how do we get back out? This is the part where you get lost. Uh, twin brain. Okay. Let's just use Breath of the Earth to get that out of the way. You know what? I'll use uh, I'll use uh, AJ's Galleon Beast in this uh, in this battle. I'll show you what it does. I'm a killing you all. Yeah, he turns into this thing. Berserk dance. That's an awesome attack. And now he's pretty much just does whatever he wants the rest of the battle. That's you know, just how it is works. And his health, as you see, regenerated and also increased. Beast Flare is awesome. It's a fire attack on all the enemies. And yeah, I don't no. He's not ice based. What am I talking about? He's just fire. I'm thinking of of a mistake that I made a long time ago in another level, another file. No. So yeah. Shiva leveled up, that's cool, I can use it more, uh, another time during battle. Uh, if we go down here, you need to defeat that boss over there to get to, uh, to get to, what's it called? If you go to the left, that's a dead end. You need to defeat that boss to get to the next area, so just remember that. Uh, this is part of Cloud's uh, flashback, so, you know, uh, you might recognize some of this area. Uh, they didn't let us go here before, so... Come on, where is the... You're supposed to let me in there. Haha! -ha. Okay, so you go up and through here and around and you come out there. And you get an elixir. Beautiful. Let's go up this way. And we come over here to a place where Cloud acted like an idiot and we get an elemental materia. There are very few elemental materials in the game, so you know, be sure that you come by this way. And then we come up here, there should be... that is a sniper rifle, I believe. Okay, so we go... we have to go all the way around this way. And... Sniper CR, it's a sniper rifle. Sniper something rifle. <laughs> so... yeah, look at the attack percentage. It always hits. It always hits. Yes. Yes. That's what I said. Is that awesome or is that awesome? Yes, that is awesome. So, let's see. I wonder if I want to give him Ice Elemental. I don't know. We'll th I'll think about it. But in the meantime, I'll give you some HP plus, I guess. But yeah, a sniper rifle. Aside from the fact that it's more powerful, it always hits. And, oh god, one second. Which way does this go? Okay, the right path goes nowhere. The left path takes you up to the reactor. I'm sorry if you hear a fan in the background, I just have to cool down my computer a little bit. So I have a fan on it. And yeah, twisty turny pass once again. But there, look at the tiny little reactor. You saw it for a second. Yeah, so we go to the reactor. The reactor, like, the, you don't really do anything there. You don't need to be here. You could just go around and explore and stuff. There's nothing inside, but if you go back here... You come back this way. Let's just let that down so that we don't have to go all the way around again. And you get to take the pipes again. Huzzah! Aren't you happy? So yeah, you pretty much go in a ginormous circle and then realize at this point, you mean I've been doing that for nothing? Ah! But yeah, let me just steal from this guy. I'll cut out the rest of the battle. Okay, so in that battle we got a whole bunch of whole bunch of stuff, so let's try to get into the crap. No, not get into that. Managed to heal before running away, so that was cool. So if you go into this chute, you come out there. 
by the Almaterra. The other chutes don't leave it anywhere at all, so yeah. In the next episode, we'll fight that boss over there. Luckily, they give you a save point. It's really nice of them. So, this has been Sephiroth Level 4. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to have a lot to cut out of this episode. And also, um, before the next episode, I'm going to try to steal a third uh, gold omelet from a dragon. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.